Tweet, dang it. Tweet. Welcome back to Against the Iron Storm with Dread Canary. I am the Dread Canary, the game is Against the Storm, and we are continuing our Iron Man run, where I play every difficulty twice, and as I'm increasing the difficulty, if I lose a game, I have to start over from the tutorial, resetting all of my progress. We are currently on our fifth attempt, our fourth attempt got to Prestige 9, and we are on our second half of our second game of Prestige 3. So, let's get back into it. As you can see, the queen's pretty mad. I don't have any humans here to uh, lower the impatience growth. Uh, and we have a bunch of orders still on the books that we have to be doing. So, at this point, it makes sense to focus our efforts on opening up another glade. Like so. Uh, we have one here, which is only a tier 2 because I don't have a service building. We have a second hub over this way, which is also <laughs> uh, not fully upgraded, but we have room for more housing, which I should definitely put down. And we should think about some comforting walls in this area. Or maybe this area as a farming community would be better off with fences. Give us that nice global plus two to resolve. We do have the ability to make tools as well as coats. Uh, and I'm thinking that it might make sense to start doing that. So we want tools first, up to a cap of 50. And then we want coats up to a cap of 25, because only beavers will use them. I'm going to put lizards in here so they can get the happy happiness bonus. The harpies in the manufactory aren't really doing much. Let's go ahead and sell some meat, sell some crystallized dew, and sell some pottery. Where did I get pottery from? Yeah, I'm not making any pottery. I don't know where that came from. We're having issues keeping enough fuel, and I certainly won't be able to happy burn anything. But we have plenty of blight post reserves. Here we go with our global plus two. And you know, I should probably think about adding a farm. Now, I think what I want is the herb garden, but I want this one to just be roots. Because roots are going to be my best way of making flour. And with the smokehouse that I have here, and the two farms, I feel like it might actually be a good spot for me to put a warehouse. Excellent. We'll be able to open up this glade next year. take our people out just a little bit early uh, so that I don't have to remember to do it later. And we're going to try to open up both of these glades. And that'll let us turn this in. And once we have the 10 more skewers, we can get that. Flower should be coming in quite nicely. People are unhappy, but I can't really do much about it because I don't have the resources to do a happy burn. I do want to put two 
I mean, ideally I want harpies. But harpies are currently working in jobs that'll make them happy. They don't... This doesn't have to be harpies, though. I can, I can replace these harpies with lizards. The reason I want it to be harpies is because uh, if we get the ability to make biscuits, we've got a thing that, that basically increases urban root production, which means that we'll get an escalating number of biscuits once we can biscuit. Okay, so I think what we can do Living matter spawn on the farm field. I'm gonna take out two lizards and have them deal with that. Sea marrow is very nice, as is the extra amber. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this go just a little bit longer. Nope, not really. Um, and that should solve it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Everybody's happy. We're losing all of our fuel in the last 30 seconds, but it should be enough. Turn off the happy burn and re beaver our woodcutting camps. Oh my word, did I accidentally leave? I accidentally left this one staffed the whole storm. No wonder we were having trouble. Free packs of provisions when we make herbs, free ancient tablets. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do a re roll. I don't love these. Newcomers arrive faster. Resources we sacrifice burn longer with the Queen's impatience. That's going to let us very much limit how unhappy our people can get. And by opening up this glade, that should help as well. Get some more beavers. Toss another lizard in here. How are we looking on tools? We've got 16, which would normally have me come up here and uh, deal with this abandoned cache. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now, because... Oh, no, you know what? I can put two lizards back in... Maybe not two, but I can put one lizard back in there. We're going to hang on to our tools to deal with whatever this is, but we can solve this with purging fire. And that means we're going to solve it with purging fire. We're going to turn in this order, so like late events carry more, gives us a little more time. Of these, I think the furnace is our best option. Because the furnace will let us more efficiently make bricks, so I can stop making bricks here. Uh, and if we make a furnace, let's go ahead and... Do I already have 25? I do, so I don't need these anymore. And in fact, I don't need that building at all because we can make packs of provisions up here. So, we will make a furnace. Here. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, no. We will make the furnace over here. Where did I put... Uh, I put them there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we had a breakyard. I didn't need to do the furnace. That's okay. We can take this apart for the ability to make tools. Which will help. We need one more farm field while we're at it. So let's go ahead and farm field. So this gives us a point, and then this gives us a point. There we go. That gives us more people and the ability to carry more. Plus a pile of parts. And at this point, okay, the guild house is absolutely amazing. Because the guild house will let us go to tier 3, uh, and on top of letting us go to tier 3, it's a win condition. 
Uh, we are going to then move these coral growths over here. And I'm going to recess this crude workstation one space and make a road here, which just looks nice. And I'll, it lets us finish off that kind of block. Uh, of course, I do still have some unhoused people, so we want to think about this area. And, yeah. I think that's all we've got for now. That's still being worked. Why are lizards unhappy? We've got a minus eight and the forest is hostile. Well, of course, that all makes sense. Uh, let's see, a kiln would let us produce coal, which is nice. Fuel burning longer in hearths is also nice. And plus three to... Okay, let's get this and let's get this straight out the gate. We're going to do that immediately. Um, tools would help us win, as would wine. We need oil. You don't have oil. We need scrolls. You do have scrolls, and we do need a temple. We also need amber. So let's try to get all of this. I'm willing to sell the ancient tablet. I'm not selling tools because I feel like I need them. I am selling my packs of crops. I don't need those. I've got so many packs of provisions, I'm willing to sell quite a few of them. Honestly. Maybe not. Maybe we need those. Maybe we don't. Sell some sea marrow. No, don't sell sea marrow. I'm going to use that in just a moment. So let's not do... Let's not do this much amber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. There we go. Well, that's gonna do is one. We've got the scrolls, so as soon as if I get a temple, then I auto I auto get another point. Um, but on top of that, we can use the wine here to make beavers exceptionally happy. And then uh, that also gives us the wealth effect, which will offset the negative here, which is good. Um, Queen's impatience is going up faster than normal based on the event that we're working. But we've got a lot of sea marrow. So I am going to do this and try to make this, this burn a little bit faster. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to turn this in for points because while I'd normally like to slow roll these, I can't. Uh, the queen's just too impatient too fast. Got a trade route we can do? Absolutely, we can do that. Lizards are unhappy, but they lose unhappiness so slowly that I think we're going to be okay. Because we're going to get this six back. Stonecutter is out of stone cutting deposits. That's not great. That's our source of sea marrow. Throw another lizard in here. Now, okay, so we've got pie in the brick oven, right? This also lets us make coal and incense, but this lets us make bricks and pie. So I don't think I actually need this building. Can't be destroyed. So I should probably rebuild it, yeah? Uh, or salvage it, rather. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's put a couple of, well, at least one lizard in the furnace. Uh, we don't need copper bars. We do need bricks. We're going to set a cap of 100. Uh, and if possible, pie would be excellent. We still need a sort of source of biscuits. But, you know, if you don't have biscuits, you've got pie. Woodcutter's camp is out of wood to wood shop. Well, you know, we can definitely move you this, this way. There we 
we go. People are happier. And we are going to stop this because I want to preserve that bonus fuel. Got amber. Oh, we need a temple and a market. That's going to be a mess. But, you know, it's okay for now. Okay. I can use a range to get a ton of meat. But I can't... I don't have, I don't have a way of making skewers. But I can use a range to get a ton of meat. I don't love it, but I'm going to go for the ranch. Going for the ranch means that this needs to turn back on plant fiber. One, two, three. So we are going to put um, a ranch right here. And we are going to definitely put another small hearth in this area. It's just a question of where can I fit it. I can fit it right here. Alright, and that is room for another house, uh, and we need lizard housing, so... Uh, no, you know what? I kind of cleared that spot specifically for a harpy house, so a harpy house is what it's getting. And we never rebuilt the farm field here. So now when we make fabric, we are only going to make fabric out of leather. And we're going to raise that to a cap of 50. Because even though it's on the worst, most inefficient option to build it in the game, uh, it is 6 to 7, so that's still really nice. We've got a lot of buffs there. We're also going to go ahead and authorize the making of pipes. We need oil. We need flour. Okay. So we fired all of those. going to push our way into this glade next year. Oh, I need a lizard from somewhere. This forager's camp, this can be beavers. So that can be a lizard, because lizards will like working that. And we've already got lizards there. This can also be a lizard. That can be beavers. And making that beavers lets this be a lizard. So that area is fully staffed, staffed, staffed. The only things that are unstaffed are our woodcutting camps and our caches that we can't really do anything about. People are unhappy, but it should take them a while for that to be an issue. And we've got several trade routes that we can do, so let's go ahead and... I'm not selling oil, but I would sell berries. How much money do we have? We have 80. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Cysts are going down. Harpies are deeply unhappy, but if I favor them, and then we burn just enough wood to lower the hostility of the forest, harpies won't be sad. 
lizards will be, but it'll take them a while to lose their nerve and actually leave. Let's turn that down. Let's turn this off. Fantastic, okay. We will once again rehire beavers to do the wood chopping. Um, gain plus one weaver resolve when we make 70 wine. Gain plus one stormer production for every two woodcutters in your settlement. Mm. Newcomers have more. I'm going to take Vineyard Town. I'll sell grain. And we'll sell some bricks. That all sounds great. Trade routes. Okay. Let's talk to Sother. We can get mushroom increases. Oh, hey, hold up. Uh, we need oil. We need flour. We need a temple and a market. Oil, flour, skewers, temple, and market. Mm, we have the flour. Well, we could buy flour. Wood cutting speed is really nice. We can buy flour. Just a little bit of flour, which is mostly being used to make pie. Uh, we want to set a cap on pie, of course, of 50. Because if we have more pie than that, we've got a problem. And now that we've got another hearth, I should really be looking at housing. So we want beaver housing, beaver housing, and then just a whole slew of lizard housing. Just so much lizard housing. And just in case we need it, we'll put some harpy houses on the end. Just all the way at the edge there. Let's see. We'll take the mixed group. That could get another beaver. I don't have anywhere to stone cut. I don't have anywhere for meat that I'm missing. Uh, we do, however, have bonus to... Oh, hey, I forgot about you. Go ahead and investigate that. And we do have a pile of tools, which means that I can go here and we can get a little more reputation from tools. And actually, if we can get more... Wait, hold on. Yeah, it wasn't oil or flour. Um, and this just has barrel production. Yeah, that's that's not great either. So, with tools coming in, that'll help. And of course, selling things is going to make our people happier. All right, we are in. Fishman Cave. Well, we're going to do this one with Sea Marrow because we can. Let's go ahead and investigate that immediately. We've got a lumber mill, which I don't think I need. We've got a ranch that I don't need. We've got a forester's hut that could actually be really helpful. We've got a spot for Sea Marrow. Which is pretty good.
Now you need... One more fence. A couple more houses. Well, yeah. And a decoration. There we go. Woodcutter's camp is out of wood to woodcut. That's okay. We'll just swing you up here. And start working on this area. Very nice, very nice. Into the corner. Into the corner. There we go. And yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, and now this, of course, we don't really want on that side. We're going to open up a little more space over here. Because this area is not really got enough space around it yet for me to go all the way to a tier 3 hub. And that bothers me. Now, of course, this side is ready to go uh, up a tier, so we'll just make some shrubberies around the back. Uh, we're also going to pair that with a nice comforting tower, which I haven't done in a while, and a comforting tower on this side. Fishman totem appeared, that's great. We'll go ahead and cover that with a harpy. Living matter has spawned on a farm field. Which is being worked. Okay. Trade routes. We can sell sea marrow. Sounds good. We can sell planks. Uh, I don't actually want to sell planks or oil. Um, I will sell bricks. You know what? Uh, I'll sell some planks. That's fine. Fishman totem appeared. Okay. Let's go ahead and cover that. And we are making purging fire. We've got plenty of purging fire for the cysts that we have. Queen's Impatience is growing faster than I'd like, but it's kind of all right. Got a tier three hub. Got a tier two hub that'll get fixed shortly. And we can definitely farm field this. If we can get a temple and a market, skewers and flour, we can be okay. Let's actually stop making pie. So farmers can carry more, we've got more people, and now we can go ahead and resume making pie. We don't have anything here that lets us make skewers. We don't have a temple. And we don't have a market. We do have a tavern. If I re-roll, there's a chance I get a temple or a market. There's a temple. So that'll get us another order completed. Ooh. 
Bliss, hi. You don't have skewers. You'd sell me a kiln. I don't think I need a kiln. I will absolutely buy incense, wine, scrolls. Yeah. I mean, a kiln would let me lower hostility significantly, but I feel like I don't need it. How are we doing on this, by the way? Are we almost done? We are completely done. That's wonderful. Fishman totems are coming in. That's good. Tools are going down. We've got a temple coming up. Um, okay, so let's let's go around and remove these. And let's go ahead and build that. Tear this apart. And tear this apart. Temples up. I think I want these stone roads here. That's okay. That's gonna be pretty okay. Uh, we let the harpies get a little bit mad. Oh, we got so many trade routes we can do. Yep. Slowly increasing this. And at this point, um, yeah, we don't really have to worry about that much. We're burning. Sea marrow is our primary fuel source, so happy burns aren't that bad. Living matter spawned on farm fields. Show me. Two lizards investigates. Uh, I never increased my jerky. Let's make this a hundred. It's the only complex food we're making. Sell wine, sure. Um, yeah, let's take another. Let's take wood cutting speed. Wood cutting speed is really good. Let's turn in this order, which will increase lizard speed per, or lizard happiness permanently. And if we can get a market, cannot get a market. We could get a granary, which would give us the ability to make fabric. Let's go ahead and grab a granary. Sure. Grabbing a granary means that I can basically get rid of this crude workstation. Like, it exists just to make pipes, and we're not going to make pipes, let's be honest. Um, I have to stop happy burning. I'm sorry, guys.
go ahead and put some farm fields down. We're gonna set the forester's hut to just uh just crystallized dew so we can get it directly. We need harpies and beavers. And I believe one of these only got two beavers. There it is. We'll move this forester's hut a little closer in. And we will staff it. Well, we'll staff it with beavers in a moment. Uh, we are going to go down to this temple, and we're going to staff this with lizards. Wow. Just keep selling things so that the guild house can scale. And we'll toss a bunch of harpies in here. We're going to give them permission to make pickled goods. Do not make packs of crops, uh, but definitely do make fabric up to a limit of 100. And we're turning three fabric into, s or three leather into seven fabric, which is just ludicrous. Thirteen tools with more tools on the way. Did I set a cap on coats? I did, and twenty-five is still reasonable, so we'll leave that alone. I think the guild house is primarily how we win here. Let's actually flip this around to this side. Move this up here. Harpies and lizards are both ecstatic, which is great. Got three more trade routes we can turn in. We got plenty of meat. I don't really want to do planks. Oh, yes, I will definitely sell resin. Resin is so cheap. Resin fabric, and then Oil? Yeah, let's sell some oil. Love it. Hey, buddy. Uh, do you have skewers or a market? You don't, but you do have longer clearance, and I like longer clearances. I, I like both of these, actually. And we could 100% do this. That'll work very nicely. Can we get a market? We can get a bakery. We can get a bakery, people. Now, a bakery is phenomenal because we took the thing that increases urban root production uh, for skewers, or not skewers, for biscuits being produced. Um, and that means bakery right here. And that means we're going to be able to get a ton out of these farms. In fact, let's, let's make two bakeries and we will turn off pie in the furnace. And in fact, I'm just going to leave one lizard in there. Uh, because both of these... Let's make pie out of meat. And we are going to actually go in and set a global maximum instead. So this is going to be two lizards. You know, I think I can actually leave my two lizards in here. There we go. We'll add two lizards here. No pottery. And let's go in here and go to uh, recipes. 
and we're going to set some global maximums. So we're going to say 50 coats is is good. We're going to say 500 flower. We're going to say uh, 100 of any building material. 20 pipes. 50 tools. 50 packs of provisions. 100 meat. 100 biscuits. 100 pie. 100 pickled goods. 100 training gear. 100 incense. Where do I have that makes incense? The smokehouse. Let's turn on incense. Now what I want to do is turn off anything that has local modifiers. And I could do this from the recipes panel, which is probably the smart place to do it. But I'm not doing it from the recipes panel because I'm not that smart. Okay, we have 17 tools. 17 tools is good. Let's move this a little bit further this way. So let's move it a little bit further this way. The idea being that we want to run around the back and we want to build three more housing, which will be two lizards and a beaver. And up here, we will want another beaver house. That'll get everybody housed. And if I put my lizards and beaver up here, I could have gone straight to tier 3, but I didn't do that because, again, I'm not terribly smart. I'm lying. I'm actually testably intelligent, but I don't really play optimally. I kind of play impulsively. We want to market, market, hello. Uh, didn't really leave myself space for a market. But that's all right, we can just move some of these fences around. I know, I know, we don't need the fences up along that, that part of the wall, but, you know, I want them there. Make another fence. Move this uh, back a little bit. And let's run a road here. And that is going to let me, of course, put a market down once I clear out a little more space on this side. How are we doing on tools, people? Tools are coming along beautifully. Woodcutter's camp has no suitable trees. Well, that's great, because we can just bring you over here and have you work on clearing out space for that market. And it's pretty obvious that we're going to win at this point, because once I build the market, that gets us a point. People are blissed out of their gourds. Uh, we can sell stuff. No problem. Fire all my beavers. It'll take a while for people to get unhappy. Living matter, okay, well. This one's not even one we're working. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, plus one 
to crystallize dew production would be very nice if we kept this party going. Um, I can grab newcomers now, sure. Sell some parts, sell some roots, sounds good. Harpies are unhappy, but we only got 16 seconds left. But I really don't want to risk losing them. Real, real quick micro burn there. Tons of tools, so let's go ahead, come up here and claim this. So Hilda, hi! Uh, sure, we can upgrade a trapper's camp, we can get some faster boots, we can get bonus coats, love that. Increased storage, why not? Grab that too. Amber is necessary for one of my orders, but I don't have anything I really want to sell you, so we're just going to sit like this, since you don't have skewers. Uh, so we're just going to sit like that. Harpies are happy anyway, so it's not like we're going to lose. Tree went down, so we're going to move over to this side. And we're going to work on getting... Uh, some more bushes down. One, two, three, four. Move this up a little bit. And then we are going to... Just fence in this whole area. And that should get that to a tier three. Meanwhile, you... You need a few more people, don't you? So let's go ahead and put a beaver house here. And a harpy house. Like so. And then opposite the harpy houses, we're just going to do a row of lizard posts. We will put a comforting tower next to the church. The temple, excuse me. And you know what? We'll do another one behind the temple. So this will just be a really comforted temple. That's what's going to be there. Let's, let's turn off favoring. No one's ecstatic right now, but that's okay, because we've, we've only need one point, right? And uh, as soon as we've got space for it, I can put a market right here. Living matter spawned in a farm field. Oh, we're still working that. That's fine. Low on food, huh? Okay. Wow, that's a lot of tools. Um, let's see, what can we do with tools? Is there any other caches that we can claim? Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and go here, claim this. And we can make that market. Here and start working on this area. Nice pun. Yes, looks a lot like a garage, though. Yes, 
exactly, a visual pun. I'm glad you came back for it. Um, I made a note that I'm also going to put it in the description of the YouTube video in case anyone who watches that wants to know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I, I like it. Yeah, because I don't want the YouTube people... Like, the YouTube people are already missing out on uh, being able to participate in the chat, and I don't want them to miss out on, you know, anything that I've said. That's that's just silly. Why would I give a less than... A, <laughs> uh, a lower viewing experience than I'm capable of? That doesn't seem very kind. Oh, we need harmony buildings for this area, don't we? Uh, so, what's more harmonious than some fire shrines? Got a nice fenced-in area. Meanwhile, up here, we've hit tier 3, so we're going to have three tier 3 hubs. We need more amber, though. There's our market. And since all we're looking for at this point is a tier 3 hub, I think this is a good time for me to just take a picture of the town from here. Wooden fence barriers instead of just the big walls? Yeah. I mean, I don't want all of my towns to look identical, but I, I really love the look of walls. And you'll notice, um, since I think you weren't here when I said it, chat, uh, we have the return of the comforting tower uh, all around this temple <laughs> for some reason. This temple just wanted to be extremely comforted with its towers, so that is what's going on there. Let's go ahead and drop two harpies in the market. Vliss, hi. Uh, we need some amber. Um, all we really need is amber. So how about I sell you these? And you sell us nine amber. Plus uh, cos uh, incense, cosmetics, and wine. And training gear. Coats. <laughs> and in exchange, I will give you 48 tools and uh, 100 sea marrow. That's way too much sea marrow. One short? Are you kidding me? Whatever. We've got a guild house. That's going to make it happy. <laughs> the, the comforting tower is the VIP of low prestige. It is. It really is. So now we can turn in this and just win whenever. Trade route? Sure. I'm not turning in the amber because I do want to win this year. And we will say goodbye to Midbrick. Pretty soon. Oop, trade route. Guildhouse is putting in work, giving us plus 10 global resolve. Got a few more people we can squeeze in here.
welcome to our town, which I am now leaving. Okay, 150 trade routes, that's solid. Ooh, workshop. Lumber tax. Okay, K, copper extractor. We got some good things at level 13. We're over 2,000, love that. Nobody died, nobody left. That's a huge... Do you prefer the new or the old trade route UI? I love the new trade route UI. It is just because it tells me how many trade routes I can do up in the right corner. It's a visual reminder. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, we're over 2,000, so I'm happy with the points. Let's go back to our world map. And uh, we got second. Ooh, opened up the... What is this? It won't tell me because I'm not allowed to play it. Let's go ahead and end the cycle and collect our rewards. Bom. <laughs> so there we go. That's our smoldering city. Generated a new world. Okay, what's this? Ooh, doesn't allow you... That's a fun new option. I like the icon. Oh my god. I love this. That looks so cool. Well, that's something to look forward to for our next one. Uh, let's go ahead and spend our stuff. Going up, going up, going up. Okay, obviously we have to finish this row. And then our primary thing we want is Queen's Patience. Embarkation points is good. More trade routes is good. There's a whole lot of really good things to this tier, but I'm going to go with Queen's Patience. And I'm actually going to go a step further and go with more Queen's Patience. So we are going to try to have a lot more time on our future endeavors. Now, uh, you may know that we have now finished our town, and that means we need to end the video. So, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for spending an hour with me. I know there's a lot of other ways you can spend an hour. <laughs> uh, if you do like the video, please go ahead and do the, the YouTube boosting algorithm stuff. Uh, if you ever want to check me out live, it's Monday and Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, at twitch.tv slash dreadcanary. Now, sometimes I have to change that schedule, you know, other things come up in my life, I might not feel well, uh, I might want to do a bonus stream at some point in the future, so any kind of updates about that or my other projects, you can follow me on Twitter at GhostFinchMedia. There's also a website which is intermediately up, GhostFinchMedia.com, I'm working to make that more stable, but you know what? I designed the website, I'm paying for the hosting, uh, and I'm the only one doing technical work on it, so... Um, uh, it's it's not it's not perfect, but it's mine, and I'm working on making it better. And uh, I think that's all you can really ask in life is to just work on making things better. Speaking of better, I hope you're having a great day, and I would love to see you in the next one. Bye, YouTube.